Hey, what's going on everybody? So today we're going to work on a outdoor farmhouse bar height table. I will have plans available for this down below if you're interested in those. But if you want to see how to do it, let's get to it. So this whole table was made for less than $75 and can be done with minimal tools. I also have plans available linked down below for this project as well as other projects if you're interested. pieces are cut the first thing you're going to do you want to lay down the good sides down because that's going to be the top of the table we're going to line all of it up lightly clamp them together because when it dries out they will separate so instead of leaving a bigger a gap now that will be a bigger gap later we're going to leave them loosely tight together that way over time they will get slightly apart uh, and clamp them together before we add our pieces to screw them together pre-drill first so that, uh, that this little piece doesn't split. So everything's cut the length. I need to now attach it together. I didn't mess up and cut these side pieces about a inch too short and I'm out of material. So this table is gonna go on a porch on against the wall. So the back side will be flush with the side of the leg, but it's gonna be against the wall. So this part will actually be what is seen. So that's gonna be fine rather than me going back and getting just one more board to cut this, which is gonna be a long process just to do that. So, we gotta attach everything together. And you know what time it is? Pike hole time! Okay, so now the pocket holes are in, we need to attach it. You do need to adjust, adjust your your, your bit when you're screwing in the ones to attach it to the top because if you leave it at the normal setting like you did for the rest it the screw will pop through unless you have shorter uh, blue Craig screws but let's attach these together
Last thing we're gonna do on this table and then it's done is we gotta cut the pieces that are gonna go between the legs. We're not gonna put one across, um, but we are gonna go between the legs and then in across, but in between. That way, uh, this is gonna be like a bar height thing and you can be able to sit, have a place to put your feet, but I'm not gonna put one on the outside of the front because the chairs need to slide in, so. Since the last thing you did was do the pocket holes to attach it to the top and you made this shorter, definitely make sure you move it back to an inch and a half before you drill into these. So the table is done. Uh, we're gonna let it sit out probably for a little while and then uh, decide if we're gonna paint or stain it after it kind of dries out because this is still pretty fresh, pressure treated lumber. But I'm gonna go recruit me some help to try to get this sucker off the table. So thanks for watching this video everybody. I hope you liked it. I do have plans linked below for this if you're interested in those. Uh, turns out pretty good. This table was made for under $75. But again, links down below if you want to get plans. I have plans for all kinds of projects I've been doing recently. And if y'all like this video, click that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you do not miss any of the videos that I post. But I'll see y'all at the next video. Thank <laughs> you.